Luigi. All right, guys, shameless plug time. So tomorrow I will be streaming Mario Kart 7 here on my channel. The link to that will be in the description. So if you want a chance to show me your awesome Mario Kart 7 skills, then go ahead and check it out. I will be streaming at 4 p.m. EST, and I believe that would be 1 p.m. Um, Pacific time and 4 p.m. Central time, I don't know, and then for people who live overseas, I don't know what time that is, but you'll figure it out. There's like a counter on the video itself, um, counting down to when the stream will actually start, and it will start on the dot. Once the counter reaches zero, the stream will in fact start. So it will be Mario Kart 7, and I would love it if you guys could come join and watch. Um, I will. This is the first stream that I'm doing in a long time. It's it's. I think it's been about a year and a half since I've last done a live stream, so. I'm hoping to see a lot of you guys there. Anyways, uh, welcome to Special World 2. Today we are going to be playing as Luigi, but before we get started, remember, hit that like button. Let's see if we can achieve 600 likes. That would be incredibly awesome. As you can see, I went back to World 1 and I obtained two stone tanuki leaves because you can't go wrong with them. Um, but yeah, after 9 worlds and 50 levels, they finally allow you to play as Luigi. So my question to you guys is, do you want me to finish the game with Luigi, or should I continue playing with Mario, or should I alternate between both Mario and Luigi, like per world or per level? I don't know, you guys go ahead and decide. I mean, personally, I would say I finished the game with Luigi, because after that crappy year that Nintendo supposedly gave Luigi, I feel really bad for him, because it wasn't really much of a year. I mean, I mean, they gave him one game, and it was pretty much the knockoff of New Super Mario Bros. U, and that was about it. And they gave him his own Luigi Bros. in New in uh, Super Mario 3D World. But other than that, Luigi didn't really get much of a spotlight. He didn't get much of his year, and Mario pretty much stole it from him again. So uh, I think it's time for us to show Luigi some love and support by by finishing the game with him and showing him how awesome he is. I mean, to be honest and fair, they they actually did give him more than just that. They also gave him Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, but uh, I guess it wasn't really that hyped up. I mean, out of curiosity, how many people actually played Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon? Because, I mean, the hype for it before it came out was huge, but when it came out, I just felt like as if people really didn't care for the game, or they bought the game and it wasn't quite to their expectations, I guess. I don't really know, but in my opinion, I think the game was awesome. I actually beat it. I know I started a Let's Play on, on my channel and I haven't finished it. Uh, I will be going back to that in the near future, but um, yeah, I, I don't know why. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this flagpole. Ah, jeez, what the shiz was that? That is terrible. I totally skipped over that. I should have just went on the yellow panel and took it the regular way. That would have helped me out a lot. I mean, someone pointed out, which is which I'm really thankful for that they did. Um, if you look at the, where is it? Okay, that is kind of funky. But if you go back to like a level, it'll actually say whether or not you obtained a golden flagpole or not um, in the corner of the screen. So since I didn't get a golden flagpole on that level, it doesn't actually say it. So it'll make it really easy for me to go back to the levels that I didn't get flagpoles in and get them. Ooh, it looks like we got 30 seconds of this level. Let's go. I love feeling rushed. This is like the best. I have time on the clock. Plus, they give you some freaking awesome music. This is like the best music in the game. Yeah, and uh, the overworld music for Special World 3 is actually freaking awesome. I love that too. Oh uh, no, give me the timer. Can't go wrong with 10 seconds. I'm pretty sure there's another level in this world. Or what was it the next one? There's a level in one of the worlds. I think it's Special World 3. That I barely cut it close with like the time. I think I ended the level with like 2 seconds. It's pretty difficult, to say the least. I mean, I, I underestimated this game. They actually do make it a lot more difficult in the special worlds, which is nice. Um, so as you can see, my quote-unquote knockoff speedrunning tactics aren't really quite up to par today, or how you'd normally expect it to be, because, you know, I haven't practiced much of these worlds. I just play them once just to get the hang of it and know where the star medals are, and then that's about it. But that's the second one. The third one should be very close. Actually, I'm pretty sure the third one's just at the end of the level. Could be wrong, though. I mean, I could be confusing it for another level. Oh, no, give me that. Give me that. Hey, buddy, I want that, I want that timer. I know I don't need it, but... 
I probably wasted 10 seconds trying to get it. It's cool, though. We are in a rush, so... We have all the time in the world right now. All you need is technically like 10 seconds to beat this. Not even 5 seconds. And you'll be golden. And there you go. Special World 2-2. Two -two. Da. So, uh, on one of my files, I actually obtained crown lives. And the cool thing is, like, I'm not entirely sure how many lives exactly the crown lives are, but it's definitely not, like, a thousand. It's definitely not 999, because I lost a few lives, and my lives still stay at crown. So, it's very interesting, to say the least. So, if you guys know what the crown lives is actually, like, the actual number for the crown lives are, then let me know, because I'm very, very intrigued. But you got these things right here. They give you a, uh, a stone tanuki leaf, because they want you to use it in this level. It's... It makes it really easy because the cheap thing about the stone tanuki leaf is you can actually break um, the spike panels that hit you. Uh, you can break those and you can pretty much be immune to anything in this game. Any enemy, anything works. Like watch, I will show you in just one second. Actually, we don't, we don't need to break that. There's going to be a level in this world where we're going to have to be using this, but... Until then, we don't really need to show it off, because I'll probably screw up and die, because that's my luck with, with recording video games. I do well when I practice, but then the moment I start recording is just when everything falls apart, and I just play like I've never played the game before. And that's how it is with like every video game, except for like Mario Kart. Mario Kart, I mean, although I, I'd like to think I'm good at it, um... Oh man, go back. There you go. That's, a, that's the trickiest star coin to get. It's the worst one. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. But yeah, like I was saying about Mario Kart, I mean, I think I'm good at the game. The only problem is um, I have really, really bad luck with like the players I always play with. I don't know why. I honestly think it's probably because of the name. If I were to see someone playing as like Kaban or Mighty 456, and I was like a viewer. Who, who watched videos on YouTube. I would probably try to troll him because I'd be like, hey, it's that one idiot from YouTube. Let me troll him. Oh man, oh my goodness. That thing was about to fall. Holy crap. Oh gosh, oh gosh. All right, so yeah, you need to use this. You don't actually need to use it, but I'd recommend it because, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. And there you go. We completed this level with ease. Well, not really with ease. You can't actually speedrun this level. I'd love to see someone speedrun this. If you can, then just tweet me the link of the video and I will watch it. If it's good enough, I'll, I'll praise you for it because, you know, can't go wrong with a great speedrun, I guess. Duh. Um, as for the physics in Mario and Luigi, like, both of them honestly feel the same. I feel like Luigi may jump higher, I don't know, maybe it's just a thing, I guess, that I always feel because in every Mario game known to existence, Luigi does jump higher than Mario. Well, at least the newer ones. The older ones, I believe, the mechanics for the characters were all the same. Nothing was different about them. But yeah, uh, I feel like they're, they're about the same in this game. I could be wrong, though, so... Once again, any of you Mario experts, if you would like to enlighten me, then feel free to do so. Special World 2-4. This one is pretty similar to one of the levels we've played before, except uh, you have a propeller suit. The thing is, when I first played like the level that I was thinking about, like... Okay, I'm, I'm not making any sense right now. The level that I played, um... Like, the first time around, when I was let's playing this game just recently, I thought it was this level, so I was sitting there confused, asking myself, this isn't the level that I remember it being. And turns out, it's because this one was in the special worlds, and the one that I played was just the regular level. And this is supposedly the knockoff one, I guess. Um, which is a lot more difficult, obviously. Um... There you go, wow. If I, if I had killed one more Goomba, I would have been screwed out of that star coin. So thank goodness for that stack of Goombas, man. You never know when they will come in handy. <laughs> Alright, so this is the tricky part for me. I always tend up to screw up right here. I don't know why. It's probably because I get nervous and I end up just 
using my propeller. Ugh, ugh. All right, there you go, there you go. Oh man, that, that was it. That was the part that I usually screw up on. Actually, wait, there's one more part. It's this part. It's because these both both of these panels fall, and by the time you land, it's kind of risky because you know you don't really know whether or not it'll actually be there. But good thing for us, it was. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. All right, let me use a Goomba. Can't go wrong with one of these Goombas, man. They put them here for a reason. I mean, normally I wouldn't like to be stepped on just to get some levitation, but in this situation, I'd be the kind fellow to be like, hey, have my head. Use it as you please, I guess. <laughs> and there you go. Special World 2-4. Getting the hard ones out of the way. The next world is very easy. In my humble opinion, it's a lot easier than this. Um, this one is the tricky one, I guess, because it requires most of the levels in this world, as you can see, like, are levels that you're flying. Like, this one, this one was a water one. That was actually pretty easy. Just kind of go with the flow. This one, you could easily fall and screw up, but it was also go with the flow. This one, you can easily fall. Same with that one. I don't know about that, but the airship, the funny thing about this world, um, or the special world in general, some of the airship levels don't actually have final bosses. So it's kind of weird because you don't feel like you ended the world properly at least that's how i usually feel because you know i feel like you need to end off the world with with a boss fight but um in this in particular world there actually isn't a boss fight that ceases to exist but you know i'm not one to complain because i don't really care if i, if I get it if i get the opportunity to not fight boom boom or pom pom man i will take that i will take that and be like grateful because you know they are annoying characters they are annoying bosses and i honestly dislike fighting them all right so the thing about the second star medal here is it is kind of tricky to get because you don't really know which box you want to head towards so for me when i played this for the first time yesterday i actually had to like explore a couple of the boxes um and i figured out that the one all the way at the end is the one that i had to to jump into to get the star coin or metal whatever you want to call it i keep saying that in every episode like there hasn't been one episode where i haven't said if you want to say that so, i don't know man I just, I just i just feel like it should be called star coin i don't understand why nintendo did that and they changed the names for the things like why would you go from star metal to star coin and confuse the people who play the game it just makes no sense all right and there you go all three of the star Metals. <laughs> I was gonna say coin, but aren't you glad I didn't say it? Because that would have been pretty redundant, I guess. Alright, here we go. Guys, like by the time these things finish spawning, they like disappear. There you go, and that is how you get to the end of the level. Except you have to be pretty quick with this, because this box will close on you. So if you don't know your way around a box, then you're gonna have to figure it out because. Once it closes, you lost the opportunity to jump to the top. So you're going to have to wait and, and do it again once it spawns again. So I'd recommend try to get it done on the first try. And I'm honestly really, really saddened by my times. As you can see, my rival time, because I said I play the first file with my girlfriend's me. Uh, it's because it was her file, but she never actually got around to playing it. Um, so I've been using that as just like the practice file. That's like... My rival, apparently, they, they, they put me, I'm my own rival, like, how weird is that? So, I'll always have the, I don't know, always strive to beat my rival, and it'll be a very painful, painful, like, game, I guess, because if I'm my own rival, then I will never win, because every time I win, I'll always strive to beat that score. And then it'll just get to the point where, like, I can't beat it anymore. So, you know, I just end up looking pretty stupid. All right, the question here is, where is the star coin? Star metal. Jeez, I keep saying that. Okay, so if I say it again, I'm not even going to correct myself because I don't care at this point. It doesn't matter. They're both the same thing. They both mean the same thing. And I'm pretty sure all of you watching know what I mean when I say that. So... Y'all that have a problem or issue with it can just go eat a donkey. Alright, we uh, somehow managed to live that. I don't know how that happened, because I was supposed to fall there, but 
I didn't, and I'm not one to complain, so thank you, Swagger, Jagger, McLagger. I'm just gonna chill. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh jeez. Oh, hello there, hello there, bo bombs. Oh my goodness, holy crap. Yo, this is, this is pretty nerve wracking. I hate this, I hate this so much. I hate this feeling. Oh jeez. It's the worst feeling ever when you like feel like you're, you're gonna die or you're like under so much pressure. I can't even stop here. Oh man, oh jeez. Oh, and there you go, we made it to the box. As you can see, we just skipped over a lovely boss fight. I don't know why. I guess they felt uh, pretty tired today, so you know, I'm not gonna blame them, nor am I gonna complain about it, because I don't care about Boom Boom or Pom Pom. They're, uh, they're pretty evil villains, and you know, if they wanna rest, let them take a day off, because you know, they work really hard, and people don't understand that. They don't understand how hard villains work. Like, Superheroes work pretty hard, but supervillains also work even harder because they have to like come up with an evil diabolical plan that is out of this world just for someone to ruin it for them, just for them to come up with even another one, you know? Seems pretty difficult for them, I guess. And yeah, there you go. See the golden flag up on the corner. I'm honestly really baffled that I, I wasn't able to see it in previous episodes when I always would complain about not seeing a golden flagpole, but it makes the game a lot easier to figure out which game levels I haven't obtained golden flagpoles in, and yeah. So that will pretty much uh, conclude today's episode of Super Mario 3D Land. In the next episode, we are going to begin on World 3. Let me know if you'd like to see me play as Mario or Luigi. Vote, because you guys are the voters. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.